hello everyone welcome back to mrs Zuri food channel i hope everyone is doing well in today's recipe i'm going to show you how to make both fruits with fresh coconuts this recipe is easy it is tasty and you can also feel the real coconut in this both fruits so as usual if you want to know how to prepare this recipe please keep on watching this video and also please do not forget to give me a thumbs up to leave me a comment and also to share my videos i'll be very grateful to you so let's get started for this recipe as i said i'm going to use a fresh mature coconut that i am going to break the shell and use it but it doesn't mean you can't use dried coconut or coconut flakes for this recipe i'm just going to use a quarter of my coconut don't forget to wash it please so the first step is to grate the coconuts okay because we are only going to use one cup of it and this is one cup of grated coconut here the next ingredient is the butter you need one tablespoon of butter two sachets of dried instant yeast you also need sugar i'm using brown sugar which is 170 grams and i'm also going to use 470 grams of all purpose of plain sugar and here again you have one cup of a grated fresh coconut i'm going to use some ground nutmeg and of course i'm going to use a little bit of salt to taste and oil to deep fry and of course you need a little bit of lukewarm water so in your mixing bowl add in 470 grams of plain flour or all-purpose flour and then add in your sugar if you do not want to use brown sugar just use the normal one okay and then add in one cup of grated fresh coconuts or coconut flakes okay now add one teaspoon of ground nutmeg if you want to use the fresh one please go ahead and use it it is even better and half a teaspoon of salt now open your two sachets of dried yeast or instant yeast and add it to it so this is it for the dried ingredients you need for this recipe and next do not forget to add in one tablespoon of a margarine or a butter whichever one you like now with your clean hands mix everything together all right make sure you mix it very well so do not rush it and just take your time it is very important all right next it is time to add the water and as i said you need to add lukewarm water to this not hot not cold lukewarm so in between the two so the quantity depends so i am not going to give you any measurement for the water but i'm just going to show you here okay but the consistency you need to have is this one so as you add the water you see if you are getting near this one or not so sticky but not too sticky and a bit loose so this is what you need right so the next step is to cover the uh, mixing bowl with some cling film make sure you cover it perfectly do not leave any air out and leave it to double up in size in a hot place for about one and a half hours to two hours or until you see it double up in size as you see it here all right so sometimes you need to leave it a bit more and sometimes it won't double up in size if your yeast is dead so make sure you also check the date so this is it now and i am going to um mix it now so that the 
air can come out and you can see my dough is perfect so this is what you need to achieve when you have let it double up in size all right so now i'm going to heat up some vegetable oil so i always like to use fresh vegetable oil when i'm um making a both fruits or donuts because i think the taste is better so once the oil is hot you can drop in your donut balls um if you need to know the techniques sometimes i use it i do it in between my first and second uh finger this is how it works for me but some people have different techniques but the most important is that you get nice round balls like this so do not forget to turn them over normally it should turn over uh, by itself but sometimes the buffers are a bit stubborn and they don't want to so you just take care of it <laughs> make sure you do not let them burn right so your buffers are ready when they have this nice golden brown color as you see here now take them out from the oil and let them cool off on kitchen towel all right so now my upper fruits are ready and um, I'm going to open one for you so that you can see how it looks like inside so this is it perfect um, fresh coconut bull fruits and I have also decorated with some fresh coconuts so this is a close-up of it and as I said it is nice and this is it my dear friends I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and as I said if you can't get fresh coconut please do not worry about that you can use the coconut flakes the dried one okay you can even use coconut powder but I wouldn't use that because I haven't tried it yet with the powdered one so I wouldn't say use it okay unless you know the quantities for powdered uh, coconuts right thank you all for watching this video I hope you really enjoyed it it is very easy to make fresh coconut buffets. Um if you have any question please leave me a comment share my videos and thumbs up see you next time bye